Hi. You know, FTP is an old and primitive technology. Unfortunately, with many hosting services, it's our only option for file transfers. Luckily, there are tools that make the use of FTP less tedious. One of my favorites is Fire FTP. The nice thing about this tool is that it's a Firefox plugin, so it's one less program to clutter your computer. Let's look for this plugin by going to the Firefox menu and selecting add ons. In the search bar, type in Fire FTP and hit enter. Here's the one we're looking for. Just click install. You will need to restart Firefox to activate it. Now you need a way to start this tool. Let's do this by customizing the Firefox menu. We can see that the Fire FTP icon is listed in our additional tools and features, but not on our Firefox menu. Just drag and drop it onto your Firefox menu. Before we start using this tool, let's check on some of the preferences that can be set. We can do this by going back to the add-on section. I like my Fire FTP to start in a new window. That way I can independently move it around the screen and resize it. You can also set the action of a double click. You can also set what's displayed in the log window. I like mine to display as much information as possible. One of the annoying things about FTP sessions is that they time out rather quickly. Here's some settings to prevent that from happening. Another strange thing about FTP is that it's not in binary mode by default. You can fix that here. There are also some useful extras if your server supports them. Now we're ready to fire up the tool. You can create multiple account entries to provide quick access to all the different accounts you may have. You can specify an account name, which is what will appear on your drop down menu. And you need to specify a host. This is either the URL of your server or the IP address. You can also specify the initial directories both locally and remotely when you connect the session. The time zone offset will help you reconcile the differences in times of files on your PC and files on the host. I already have an account set up here. Let's see if I can connect. Let's try downloading a test file from the remote site. The timestamp of this file on my PC is April 14th, 9.06 a.m. But the timestamp on the remote site is April 14th, 13.06. There seems to be a four hour difference. Let's see if we can fix this. 
I'm going to adjust the time zone offset by subtracting four hours from the remote site for this account. Click on refresh and we can see that they now match. If you click under the tools menu, you'll see that there are some handy synchronization utilities. This detects whether files are missing on the local side or the remote side. It also looks for timestamp differences, but as you can see here, that doesn't really work that well. It may be because of my host. I'm not sure. On the bottom are buttons which can globally check or uncheck actions based on the detection of a missing file or a timestamp mismatch. You can also manually adjust the action for each individual file. If you click on the Q tab, you can check on the progress of your uploads and downloads. So there you have it, painless FTP. Thanks for watching.